Hey everybody, Mark by Chris here, and as you can tell, I have a little bit of a different setup this week. Um, the This month's manga haul was so large that I had to uh, bring a table in here to put them all down on. Um, so I took a little, little note from the Weeb family and just have a, a table set up right here. Um, if the audio sounds a little different, it's probably because I have something else in the room. Um, but yes. This month's manga haul is, uh, for one, for me, this is a very large amount. Uh, I did go a little overboard, just a little, um, but I got a lot of good deals. That's why there's so much. So I didn't overspend. There was just a lot of good deals. So um, that out of the way, that's why we get books in front of me. So let us start off with something that is not manga. It is anime, and that is the... Blu-ray for Mars Red. Um, I've talked about this series before. This I really, really like this series. It is awesome. The uh, the manga is out as well. You'll see that later. Actually, not really that much later, but yeah. Blu-ray. That's the sleeve. That's the, that's the cover. Um, yeah, really like this series. Very, very nice. Glad to have it. And if you like vampires and stuff, I recommend you check this one out because it's very good. Speaking of Mars Red, and getting into the more continuation um, part of the continuations books that um, are a series that I already have, basically. So getting into the continuations, we've got Mars Red Volume 2. Very, very nice. I like these covers a lot. The art style is definitely a lot different than the uh, anime, which I don't mind. Uh, but yeah, excited to have this. I don't know how many volumes there's going to be, because the anime is very short and it's based off a game so yeah might be might be only a couple more volumes i'm not sure we've also got the unwanted undead adventurer volume four this book came out much quicker than i would have thought um this series tends to release uh a month later than it usually says it will but uh this this book was on schedule which is always nice. Uh, this series in particular, it'll in the back, it'll give you a, uh, a date for when the next volume is gonna be on sale. So for this one, it says April. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and pre-order volume five, uh, just, uh, just to be safe, you know? Just to make sure I, I get it on time. We've also got uh, Yotsuba volume two. Now this volume in particular was a little bit harder to get my hands on. I looked at Barnes and Noble, Amazon, uh, Books A Million, uh, eBay even, and um, it was either out of stock or very, very expensive. And uh, I uh, I ended up going to Blackwell's, which is a, a UK, basically the UK's version of Barnes & Noble. And I got it there, it took quite a, quite a few days to get to my house, but always, I guess, a uh, lesson to be learned, make sure you check Blackwell's, because they usually have stuff in stock when other places are out of stock. But yeah, Yotsuba 2. I really, really like this series so far, so I will probably be picking up the rest of it. Uh, slowly but surely, there's like 15 volumes, so yeah. But yeah, probably you'll probably see volume 3 or 4 in the next haul. Next up, we've got Mashal Magic and Muscles, volume 5. This was a pre-order as well. Um, I have yet to read volume 4, so uh, I'll, I'll have to wait to get to this one, but I, I very, very much like this series. Very, very good. And... Um, I'm excited to see where the series goes because it's very funny and also very, very action packy. It's basically One Punch Man Harry Potter. Also with the continuations, this chunky boy, we've got volume two of Gundam The Origin. Big, uh, very, very nice cover there. There's the back cover. I really like these. They do a fantastic job on these. On these, the paper is very, very nice. It's got a glossy finish, so it, it'll, it won't, it'll take a while to yellow. Um, there's awesome color sections um it is it's just a really really nice uh print print run um i don't know how many volumes are out of this but there's quite a few and these take up quite a bit of space they're quite thick they're about an inch thick each but uh yeah i'm looking forward to reading this one because i very very much enjoyed the first volume we've also got tokyo uh tarababa girls tarareba tarareba i still can't pronounce it uh, Tokyo Heh, Girls Volume 2. Um, 
really like the uh, the art style. I very much like this mangaka stuff. Uh, like I remember watching Princess Jellyfish and I was like, this looks really good. And so, yeah, I will probably be picking up more of her stuff. Uh, I know she has a bunch of series out, but uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to continuing this series. I've yet to read volume one, but I hear this is very, very good. It was very highly recommended. Next up, we've got Free Ren, uh, Beyond Journey's End, volume three. I forgot this was coming out this month, so I basically pre-ordered it two days before it was gonna come out. Um, uh, I have yet to read volume two, but this is also another series I'm very excited to read. Uh, volume one was very, very good. And uh, yeah, a lot, a lot better than what it was, more than I was expecting it to be, I'll say that. It was very, very good. I th thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Free Run Volume 3. Now this is technically a continuation, but also uh, completing the series. That is Nichijo. We have Volume 4. Volume 5. Volume 6, Volume 7, Volume 8, Volume 9, and Volume 10. That's the rest of the series. All I now have all 10 volumes. Very, very excited. I really, really like the anime for this. Uh, and I'm excited for the manga, because the manga is just as good as the anime. Um, very, very funny. Very, very wacky, quirky is how it's probably a good word for it. Uh, but yeah, very, very good. Uh, I recommend either one to anyone who's interested that both are equally as good. Now, as you can see, I am a pretty big Cowboy Bebop fan. I've got several t-shirts, a poster, and uh, both uh, Blu-rays of the movie and the, the anime. So um, when I when the live action came out, I was like, eh, I'll 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 get around to it. It's not very high in my priority list. Um, but I did hear that they were going to be releasing like a sort of prequel book, sort of. Not quite sure if it is actually a prequel book, but that is Cowboy Bebop, um, uh, a syndicate story, uh, Red Planet Requiem. This is uh, an actual book, normal book, not a comic book, but I, uh, I saw this on Right Stuff and decided to pick it up. More Cowboy Bebop, hard to go wrong with. Uh, I just hope it's good. Um, even if it's like lukewarm, I'll still read it. But uh, yeah, looking forward to checking this one out. Not sure what uh, what's gonna be in it. Continuing the Cowboy Bebop train, we've got the Cowboy Bebop manga. That is all three volumes of it. We've got volume one here. Volume 2. And the last volume, Volume 3. Now I picked this up because um, they came back in stock. I was looking for them for a while. Uh, they were out of stock on Right Stuff, which is where I got them. Uh, the covers, um, this cover in particular, uh, I just think Faye's face looks a little funny. Uh, but the, the actual art itself is basically Cowboy Bebop the anime, same art style, sort of deal. It's just this, this one cover is just a little uh, strange looking. But uh, the other two, yeah, just, just as good. Cowboy Bebop, hard to go wrong. Next up, we've got a series that I've been looking for the physicals for for a very, very long time. <laughs> um, I was looking for this series when, when I first started collecting. Uh, I thought it looked really, really cool. Uh, but I, I sort of waited too long and certain volumes went out of stock and then when those came back in stock other volumes came out went out of stock it was just a whole mess and um, volume two of this series specifically uh, I saw selling on eBay for like $200 and I was like that's insane so I had sort of resigned myself to just reading it uh, digitally because I, I have a Kindle I read certain series digitally um, but I was on eBay, just sort of farting around, and uh, there came about a listing that I could not pass up. It was a very, 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 very good deal. And that is the entire series of Black Torch, physical, in very nice condition. There's one little ding on the, the corner of volume four here, but we've got volume one, volume two, 
volume three, volume four, that's that little ding right there, and volume five. Now I got this entire set for, that's the saddest journal I've ever heard, uh, $60. A whole 60 bucks. Now that is, of course, above retail because there's only five bucks and you know the originals were sold for 10 bucks a pop. But when single volumes can go over a hundred dollars, 60 bucks for the full set is like a steal. Oh my God. Um, yeah, I was uh, jumping for joy when, when, <laughs> when uh, my bid got accepted. But uh, yeah, all five volumes for 60 bucks is great. Um, I just hope I just wish it wasn't canceled because um, it it's a very well regarded series, you know. It's uh, yeah, but yeah, I I can't speak just how excited I am I am to have this one through five of Black Torch physical, yay! So next up, uh, I got this particular series wholly because of Instagram and YouTube of the manga community, um, specifically Weeb Dad. I blame you for this, but I'm also looking forward to reading it. That is uh, the full series of Rose Hip Zero. So we've got volume one, volume two, volume three, volume four, and volume five of Rose Hip Zero. Now, if the cover art is uh, causing anyone to think that that art looks familiar, that is because this is the same mangaka of GTO and all those different GTO series. Um, I flipped through it and uh, in volume five, specifically, that was the first volume that arrived, uh, there is a character that looks a lot like the main teacher character from GTO. I don't, I don't know his name, but it was like, that's like the exact same dude like mole in the same place on his face. But uh, that's probably just a little Easter egg. But I'm very excited for this, to read this. This is from the covers. It looks to be like chicks with guns and lots of gore, which is right up my alley. Um, but yeah, one through five of Rose Hip Zero. I've been looking to get more of the, like the shorter runs of like the older series. There's a, there's a couple that I have my eyes on. It'll probably show up in the next haul, but I'm, I'm sort of, yeah. If, if anyone has any recommendations for any older series, like say uh, mid to late nineties, uh, let me know. Uh, Cause I am uh, for some reason in a nostalgia kick for a decade that I wasn't even born in. <laughs> so um, let me know if there's any sort of nineties series that you think I would like um, in the comments below. And move, let's move on now to the last series. Uh, complete set of this manga hole and also the end of the hole. So this uh, this particular manga it has quite a lot of nostalgia backed up in it for me. Um, for those of you who know or those of you who don't know, I collect uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards fairly regularly. Um, I don't really play. I have uh, Master Duel installed on my computer. I sort of just sort of farting around on it, just practicing. Getting, getting back into it a little bit, but uh, I have a fairly sizable collection of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. None of them are worth very much. I just sort of collect them because I like the art. And um, so when I was, let's see, 11, 10, 11, 12, uh, there was a Yu-Gi-Oh series. The current, the one that was current was Yu-Gi-Oh 5Ds. And um, that, I watched every episode, every rerun, several times, several, several times. Um, I spent, you know, 30 bucks of my hard-earned 12 year old dollars uh on getting like all the booster packs and all that stuff I, I absolutely loved it and at the time i was not into manga and i didn't even realize Yu-Gi-Oh was an anime and um so i didn't i didn't really think to look for Yu-Gi-Oh manga until i was on uh, mercari looking at some stuff um and i found this that is a complete set of the Yu-Gi-Oh 5ds manga uh, now this is not a retelling of the series. This is sort of like a spinoff after it, the series has ended, sort of deal from what I've from what I've read. Uh, that's volume two there, and uh, so I'm very very interested. There's volume three. Now the covers say card inside. They, none of the cards are in there. 
Um, the guy who sold these to me said that he had given those away. So, I don't know, too bad, but I don't really mind. There's volume five. This is probably my favorite cover. I, for, for the longest time, I wanted to use this jacket. I absolutely love that jacket. Looking at it now, it doesn't seem very practical, but if you're playing Yu-Gi-Oh on motorcycles, it seems pretty practical. There's volume six. There's volume seven. There's volume eight. And there's volume nine, last volume. Uh, quite a bit thicker than all the rest of them. But yeah, that is my haul for this week. This week, this month. Um, yeah, my haul for March. Um, so, let me know what you guys thought down in the comments. A little bit of a preview for the next video. Um, I saw the other day that Target had some uh, Gundam model kits. So the next video is going to be a little tutorial on uh, building models for anyone who's you know interested. I'm fairly new to the hobby myself and I, I needed a couple videos to learn how to read the instructions and everything. So I will be providing that to you free of charge as everything on YouTube is. Um, uh, yes, so look forward to that if you're interested in the, the model building hobby um, or if you just like watching people build stuff like I do. I yeah. So that is everything for this week's video, guys. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next video.